Okay. Uh, hi. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our alumni talk with one of our famous alumni, I would say. Hakim, can you introduce yourself a little bit, Hakim? Yes. So, my name is Abdullah Hakim Ben Goslai. I was study, um, I study in DRB Highcom University, Bachelor of Islamic Banking and Finance. I spent five years here studying as much as I can to adapt with this current situation in life, the reality. Okay, so how are you doing? Okay, it has been a while. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm very happy to be back here, to meet you especially, oh. and to contribute back, contribute back to our university of course. I think the last time I met you was at Bank Mu'amalat, remember? Yes. My, uh, uh, what were you doing at that time? Actually, at that time, I'm doing my internship as internship oh. trainee at Bank Mu'amalat Malaysia Berhad. Okay. And that is one of the advantage of studying in university because uh, the RB Highcom University is one of the subsidiaries of the RB Highcom Berhad. And besides the RB Highcom University, there's a lot more of this company of DRB High Comber High. Yeah. And of course, during that time, I was senior back then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what were what department were you in when you were at Bank Muhammad? I was given an opportunity and I, will, uh, uh, I was placed in legal department oh, okay. as at Bank uh, Muhammad Malaysia Berhad BMMB and I was responsible to assist the legal officer in various documentation of legal and I also involved in partnership of the Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad. Whoever law firm want to join us as partner, so I help them, I assist them to ensure that all the process must uh, go smooth and then why not. Um, is that related to what you, you learn here? Actually, uh, it's not really related, but I learn a lot. A lot, yeah. a lot of new things and I can relate it to the reality, I can relate to my own life and it's a plus point for me because everything I learn in classroom and I add more during my internship. Yeah. Okay. Now, I still remember um, your reason for coming here but I want to like just for the camera, why did you choose the RB Highcom University again? I chose the RB Highcom University for a reason. Of course, I did some research and when I did some research, I know that the RB Highcom University is one of the subsidiaries of the RB Highcom Berhad. And the RB Highcom Berhad is a one of the largest uh, nations conglomerates and they got like 82 companies, operating companies under them and they got like uh, 46,000 if I'm not mistaken, 46,000 of employees and I think that's a quite good number of a company and I believe with that statistic if I was given opportunity to learn here I, I can benefit from those advantages uh. and I also got scholarship as, uh, actually yeah. I got scholarship from foundation full scholarship with allowance and I am also entitled for a scholarship uh, during my bachelor studies also with allowance and that's very helpful because I can ease my parents' burden not to support me uh, in, uh, in um, furthering my study in mm -hmm. tertiary level. Tertiary level. So, are you planning to pursue even like higher MBA perhaps? Actually, yes. Oh. And because I think it's important to always increase our level of knowledge because that knowledge, we are going to use all the knowledge that we have learned in our work even if not work in our daily life, yeah. even in um, in family and whatnot, and I think I was thinking to to choose the RB Highcom University also as my okay I'm destination. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I, I was just about to say if you wanna yeah. uh, take your MBA, please call me. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> All right, because uh, you can be classmate with my my son. Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Doing MBA ODL. You know, for MBA ODL, you don't have to, you know, you don't have to quit your work. You can still work because the classes are at night, once a week, you know, you can still yeah. um, join the class without having to sacrifice your career. Yeah. I think that's the most important thing. Yes. Right? And I heard some of the feedbacks from my friends who is furthering their studies in masters. And I think that's, gonna, that's not going to be a problem 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your friends are also taking part time? Yes, and some of my friends even have finished already their master oh, here. Oh, okay. You should then. You should then. Mm. It'll be like around I think like two to three years. Yeah. Only. If uh, the issue oh. wanna support me <laughs> in any ways, I would please to. <laughs> Believe me, time will fly so okay. fast when you study, right? Okay. Like three years is nothing. Correct, correct. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see you soon, yeah? Okay, what advice would you give to um, to students uh, like SPM leavers who are considering going to college? Talking about SPM leavers, I am very concerned with the current statistic. I heard there is about 300,000 of SPM leavers do not pursue their studies in tertiary level of education and I think that's a problem that the government or everyone need to help and resolve the issue because I think considering to further your study in tertiary education is important because this knowledge or the knowledge that you will learn in university or college be it anywhere it's very important to embrace yourself to face the reality mm. and another advice I can give is to show your willingness to learn mm. be it from your lecturer be it from your cleaner be it from anyone that uh, exists in your life because yeah. knowledge can make us better person yeah. I believe in that I, I, I agree with you talking about the statistic just now um, like you say you no, know, most SPM leavers now they are too eager to become like you know a social media influencer. What do you think about that? I think not all social influencer success, but if you are if you are deciding to pursue your career in social as as social influencer, you can proceed. But in the same time, you must pursue studies, be it bachelor or you take part-time anywhere or you take any specific uh, certificate out there mm. and now the, stu the, the studies and now you can learn anywhere actually yeah, yeah. there's true, true. a lot of opportunities uh, out there it can be like an insurance policy for yes. us right uh, maybe one day you know we're not like like you know influential anymore than yes then. correct correct okay um, I believe throughout your study you have like various or so many experiences or memorable um, moments that, that you have here in the Arbyakom University I remember one of the last I think the last event that you organized here was the um, FOB appreciation, appreciation night, night. Correct. Um, now this is the perception of, of most students when they get involved and in, when I ask them to get involved in any events they will say like oh um, we don't have we don't have time to organize the event we're so busy with our study but little that they know that when you organize an event it you know, um, it strengthens your um, teamwork ability, Correct. your leadership ability and things like that. Yeah. I think that needs to be um, disseminated or that like, need to be informed among the students. Do you think Correct. so? Yes, I think so because this outside of the class learning is very important. And for me, for me myself, this is when I learn more and I can use these skills and experiences in my work life and please don't ever think that involved in those activities is useless and wasting your time because for me it's very important to take your time give up your time on this because you can learn many things in terms of soft skill of course and you can do some networking with the yes. university staff lecturers and whatnot even the auxiliary police also will know you <laughs> so you can yeah, yeah do some networking i think we were like very much bonded because you have come to my house like a few times <laughs> yeah correct <laughs> okay uh thank you so much for being with us for coming i can't wait to have you for the upcoming convocation i believe you will uh, you will be one of the award recipients on that day. i mean alhamdulillah inshallah <laughs> but I, I i'm not sure <laughs> yes i'm just saying all right thank you so much for being with with us thank you so much for sharing your experience with us okay we'll see you in another version or another session all right bye